Hello world, uh, welcome again to my video. Uh, today I'm going to show you my prototype watch winder. Okay, so this watch winder is for an auto mechanical watch, and this one for today. Uh, if we uh, just the parts that is connected, uh, this one cost more or less than ten dollars or five hundred pesos here in the Philippines. Okay, and it can accommodate. Uh, for now, it's three watches, two to three watches to be safe, so that it would not be so heavy. Two to three watches. I've tried four watches and. Sometimes it's stuck, stop rotating, okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you uh, about the parts that I'm, uh, I, I use. So this one here is the plastic from a container of uh, popcorn. Uh, actually, I have this one uh, already somewhere at back of my house. Uh, disposed for recycle. And so this one does not cost me anything. This plastic uh, container here. And down there is... Uh, cost me around 189 pesos from Lazada, Philippines but it cost me not to use it in this project the 199 pesos I bought this one for Lazada is, uh, because I used this one for Christmas party uh, this thing and 300 pesos for the mechanical programmable timer and this one here probably around 14 pesos or more or less or less than 20 pesos and this one here is less than probably around more or less 10 pesos and a switch and I just use our the switch up actually is uh, from our home uh, extension, wire extension, electrical wire extension. And the thing is that I didn't uh, actually, uh, it didn't cost me anything to make this project because this one is from, it's already from the garbage, I just wash it really well. And this one here, we have this one two years ago from Lazada. We bought, uh, I bought this one from Lazada for our Christmas party and this one is a home use. We actually home uh, use this at home and I just use it for this prototype project or mock assembly as, I can, as you can say. As you can see it's a mock assembly to test the motor and the condition in how this uh, this uh, material works if ever the motor get burns or uh, damage but until now it's been two days uh, nothing yet is uh, busted uh, this uh, this device would run 24/7 24/7 would run 24/7 every day it has a, a random timer of 15 minutes of working time it would it would spin with light uh, around 15 minutes and uh, in 15 minutes after 15 minutes gonna stop and it's going to go on standby for 45 minutes because that is what I I program the mechanical programmable timer. That is the time that I program this device. And after standby of 45 minutes, it's going to start again. 
and keep working for 15 minutes and again after 15 minutes gonna turn off and going to stand by for 45 minutes and that's it it's a random time I sometimes use 30 minutes standby I use 40 minutes standby so if you want to turn it off there's a switch okay just turn this up it's gonna turn it off turn it on okay over here we have three watches okay so we have eyes, Invicta, and Acacia. So three watches is good. It's not so heavy. I did not use any foam inside because it would increase the uh, the weight of the the item inside of this container. So these are paper so that uh, watches will not uh, keep on moving round while it's turning and so if you're going to get some watch or use something inside or do something inside just turn it off like putting this cover of the container okay and just turn it on If you want to get something, turn it off, get the watch, and turn it on, okay? So, after 15 minutes, this one is turning as long as it is connected to the, to your home power. See, I'm just going to fasten the time, so it's gonna stop. That's a standby for 45 minutes, and after 45 minutes, going to start again with lights. Okay, so this one is just a mock-up assembly, early uh, early stage of this project. A mock-up assembly just to watch how uh, the materials uh, work. Also, uh, later on, I'm going to be making some cover of this and plan out all the wirings. There will be probably just uh, cheap plywood, just make it good work, uh, just work it like a, a good cabinet for this with glass, uh, glass doors and uh, you can see some uh, some uh, really good uh, watch winder cabinet on YouTube. So as you can see, it's really very nicely with with quality workmanship. I don't know if I can do do those uh, workmanship, but I'll try. Okay. Okay, so I'm not telling you that you're going to make some uh, uh, make th this project, but I'm uh, just showing you my ideas of making my project probably hopefully could help you some of my ideas because watchminder is really so expensive just for one single watch. And this one we have three watch or three or two watch, two to three watch. Okay. Now the very important thing about this is safety. So I couldn't. I I tell you this. I surely did not test yet the safetyness of this device, but. That's why I put the, this uh, timer, programmable timer, one of its uh, safety features so that it will not keep on working for 
24 hours. It has uh, program time to stop working and or, uh, start working again 15 minutes and stop working 45 minutes. That is my program time. I So that's it, my DIY.